All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the EM number 1000 day challenge. This day 571. So let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, in terms of uh, market structure of the so overall, we do see a very uh, overall relatively bearish momentum, especially with the news of the potential war breakout, or technically a potential war breakout for Russia, between Russia and Ukraine in that sense. So that's definitely a bad news. But of course, if you look in terms of historically speaking, the, uh, the news of such war, does impact the, the market in terms of negatively. It can, it can be as short as a few days, a few weeks, or even half a year or more. But that really depends on how bad it is in actual fact at the end of the day. All right, uh, but beyond the news in, in, in that sense, I would say that the sell-off wasn't as bad as it is. So let's see how things goes along the way because of the news-wise, it can really be very unpredictable in that sense. So I wouldn't, uh, personally, I wouldn't use news to use to predict what will be potentially happening in the next coming weeks or months ahead, simply because of the fact that many things could be changing and I'm not uh, expert or in terms of predicting what will happen in that sense. Whether will the war further escalate further or will it actually not escalate further? And if it does escalate further, what is the repercussion downstream will be something very, very un uh, unknown about, I would say. Because every single war, every single conflict do have a different uh, kind of a, a setback and in terms of uh, consequences in that sense. All right, and yeah, so, so going back into the technical side of things, I would say that, yeah, the uh, US market side of things potentially form a potential double bottom, but it's provided the current bottom does hold. So you can see that the sell off isn't as strong as the second one. So yeah, so if we do find support over similarly here, so we could definitely form a very nice double bottom in fact, and continue towards the upside there. In fact, be a very nice bullish pattern. But of course, if we trend here over a couple of days, uh, like here and then we break below that there will be a strong conviction towards the downside but we do trend like just a couple of days and then we break back up then they'll be fine but we do trend a couple of days and we break back down there will definitely be a downside in which case we could definitely retest this 4000 region itself as of now I'm not too clearly bearish as long as we do not have a strong selling momentum in that sense same thing for Nasdaq we are forming a similar double bottom formation itself and then for ASH even though it tentatively formed a bullish sign yesterday itself uh, KWF actually not hearing any of this, I would say. So we definitely do have some selling pressure over here and the market definitely did. It's going to open lower today as well. You can see the pre-market open, especially when you do keep track of the China stocks, which is already closed for the day. And they definitely have another further sell off in that sense. But even then, as long as we maintain above these 30 two dollar thirty above the thirty three dollar region itself, I would still say it's still not the worst case scenario. And the sell off is a little bit uh that the news has been overly squeezing it in that sense to say that it's been a very huge sell off in that sense. So yeah, it is what it is. So let's see how things goes. And then for Bitcoin itself, uh, let's see how things goes as well. We definitely do have a uh, similar formation with the Nasdaq and S P five hundred. But you would actually also see that if you see the correlation, so this will be the bottom, and then this will be that. So you can see that S and P five hundred and even the Bitcoin is forming some of a similar pattern in that sense. So if we do, in fact, I would say Bitcoin is actually stronger relatively because it didn't form a double bottom in comparison to S&P 500 and also the Nasdaq itself. So if we do bounce over here tentatively, we can have a very strong bounce. So right now I do see potential to add in terms of longer term position, uh, but otherwise nothing to be too much of a concern about. Uh, of course, if we do have a very sharp drop, Bitcoin could also lead to a very sharp drop as well, in which case, like I mentioned, 30k mark could be the first thing, or even the 24k and the 20k region itself. It could definitely be a huge fall if we do come into that scenario itself. Uh, yeah, but otherwise, there's more or less about it. No change in terms of equity balance. I don't see any good setup in terms of forward check, simply because I do see that there's potential of a pullback, strong pullback, making a poor risk to reward setup. So if we do enter over here, similarly, you will have a very poor risk to reward setup. So definitely not in my favor to actually enter a short setup. But if there's any changes in terms of that, then I'll keep you guys updated. And with that said, I've come to the end of the day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.